So we all know that all of the members of BTS have absolutely incredible voices, but Jungkook is considered the main vocalist of BTS, so let's dive in and find out why that is today. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy. I'm a full-time content creator, baby army, and lover of everything amazing, which of course includes your cute face. And of course it includes my one of my two biases in BTS, Mr. Jungkook, who I would consider my alt bias. I know, I'm sorry to all the rest. He's just, he's just next level. He really introduced me to BTS and pretty much sparked this entire journey of me being here in front of you guys. So I'm I'm eternally thankful for Jungkook, but also the man is talented. The man is fine. The man has vocals for days. The man is just truly like an ace, not only in BTS, but in the K music industry. I think like everybody I talk to is like, they know who the heck Jungkook is, even if they don't listen to K-music. So I think that's really special and really incredible. But I'm not obviously putting him up against the other members because you know your girl is OT7 for life. But anyway, today I'm so excited because we are diving into a video that a bunch of you have suggested for probably months now. And I'm sorry that it took me so long to get to it. I just feel like there were so many exciting things happening. But the times have calmed down a little bit and I have just the right amount of time to react to this video which is Jungkook, the main vocalist of BTS by the channel Ida S. And I did see that Ida S had actually posted this video prior, but I guess it got taken down by YouTube as YouTube likes to do. So they made a updated version, which is perfect for me because I'm a baby army and I need all of the updated facts, okay? So this video came out only one year ago. So I think that's actually gonna be super good for me because there's I'm watching so many like old form BTS content which i'm obsessed with but i am getting jumbled up in my timelines so this is gonna be good to give me the up-to-date facts so let's find out why jungkook is actually considered the main vocalist of bts i think i have some ideas like his perfect pitch but we're really gonna get into the nitty-gritty with this video I'm so excited. This is my first I to S video. And I think this uh, person makes a bunch of BTS related content. So let me know if they got any other good videos that we should check out. Oh, I love this song. Sorry, I was checking the volume. At the age of 13, Jungkook chose to join Big Hit Entertainment as a trainee in 2013 at the age of 15, he made his official debut as the main vocalist of BTS. He was so young. 메인 보컬로 나왔는데 다른 팀들은 메인 보컬이라는 사람들은 진짜 노래 너무 잘 부르고 춤도 잘 추고 멋지고 잘 생기고 난 뭐지? Damn. 내가 과연 이 팀의 메인 보컬로 있어 있는 게 맞나? 함께 웃겨 함께 웃겨 Oh my god. You're lying. Oh my god, I've never heard that clip of him singing. I'm trying to boost the audio. I know there's a thing to do it on Google Chrome. I don't have it on Mozilla Firefox, but I'm gonna keep looking. Oh my god, this man has the creamiest vocals, the clearest voice. I love that. But back to what he was talking about where they told him that he was gonna be the main vocalist of BTS and he's like, damn, can I do that? So when they just like get and join into their group do they get assigned roles because i've been doing reactions over on my twitch stream every wednesday where you guys can suggest me videos to react to and um i've been seeing so many different groups and a lot of them don't even have roles like they all sing they all dance they all do everything so i wonder if times have changed because bts has been around for 10 plus years now so maybe it's more lax now What's the tea? Oh my god. 
my god my god it's like an angel literally he has the voice of what i imagine angels sound like ah oh, those just like high notes that he hits are just next level and what i love the most about jungkook um like talent wise and passion wise is that even when he's not performing you know doing shows singing for work he's still singing at home doing karaoke constantly going on lives doing karaoke for rv and that just shows this man is devoted like he actually loves what he does because i'm sorry if jungkook didn't like singing i would be like boy it's okay pack it up as much as i love your vocals like go find your happiness you want to be a construction worker do it up i'd be sad but like you know but it's so amazing to see people who love what they're doing and like and, and that's why it's amazing what they do i don't know it just gets me hyped the f up no cap no cap i swear like i always i think at the beginning of my army journey i was always wondering like how do they split the parts up is every does everybody get the same amount of roles and i realized that was so naive because even if a part is small it's still very impactful but i will say i have noticed that jungkook has so many roles in bts and it's so cool like as the center ad libs vocals rap fill in sometimes like this man really does it all and i like that the members aren't like wow jungkook gets majority of all of our songs like what about me i'm trying to be a star too but it's like no they're like damn there really is no replacement for jungkook like if we lose him it's a lot of damage so we're really lucky to have him i love that mindset like they are bros this is real bro code right here <laughs> Oh my god. That's like the first time I've seen him with the purple in ears. Oh my gosh. I know you guys gave me the lore. His in ears are half for big hit fat, half for army. Wait, maybe I didn't absorb the lore enough. Don't come for me. I'm trying. Just help me. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> my time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. The breathing while he sings. Like, I cannot. I feel like some vocal coaches would be like, wow, he's breathing heavy. He's not, you know, doing. But like, to me, uh, when I hear them breathing like that as they're doing crazy moves on stage that are like almost not even human and also hitting those vocals, it just, I just love it. I'm like, that's his mic is on, baby. Ain't nobody can ever tell me any of the BTS members, their mics aren't on. Those mics stay the F on. Oh my God, the focus is so hot. 정말로 시영님이 예산을 가지고 와 주셔서 제 가능성이 있을 만한 연습생 한 명만 너가 데리고 갔다 와. 그래서 고민을 하다가 제가 전국 씨를 아 전국 네. 전국님이랑 같이 네 와. 백팩 메고 이제 같이 이제 쫓아다니면서 댄스 어... 스튜디오 다니고 전국 씨가 이제 설레가 너무 좋았기 때문에 모든 연습생들은 이제는 다 라이브의 트레이닝의 이제 문화가 됐죠. I love that. I'm reading Beyond the Story and I got to that part and Jungkook said like going to the States at that time of his life really helped him find like a purpose in BTS. That's something that like really sparked his excitement and like, you know, the reason why he was in BTS and he found like his love for dancing there. I don't know. I'm just obsessed with Beyond the Story right now. It's taking me forever to read it. I'm a very slow reader. I don't have a lot of time, but I've been loving it. I just love when I read a page and then I see something reference to it i'm like ah! yo girl those so lower on that let me put it back i've never seen this oh my god oh my god 
Oh my god. Yuki. Oh. 제가 이렇게 소개해 주는 진짜 여태 <웃음> 이제 저도 이제 외부 작업도 많이 하고. What the heck? Why does he look so baby here? Oh my god, he looks like a little cupcake. I want to eat him. He's so adorable. 진짜 여태 <웃음> 이제 저도 이제 외부 작업도 많이 하고 많은 뮤지션들이랑 이야기도 많이 해보고 하는데. 제가 여태 본 뮤지션 중에 가장 재능 있는 yeah. 제 동료들한테 항상 똑같이 이야기를 하거든요. 이 친구만큼 재능 있는 친구 못 봤다고. Literally same. 다들 수고하시더라고요. 너무 oh. 잘한다고. 다들. <웃음> 다들. 타고난. 네, 제 타고난 게 보컬이 많아. He, just, he just starts clapping. It's like when you feel awkward when everybody is singing happy birthday to you and you just have the cake in front of you with the lit candles and everybody has their phones on you and you're just like... You just sing along or you just start clapping too. Oh my God, he's so freaking adorable. But really what Yungi said is so true. Like I started listening to BTS because of Jungkook, yes. But I don't think I appreciated like how talented he was until I started ingesting more BTS content and then comparing it to what I used to listen to, which, hey, nothing wrong. Like you don't always gotta be the most talented person in the world, okay? For me to listen to you. I love all music, really, I do. But truly i had i don't i have failed to see somebody on jungkook's level i don't know is that crazy maybe it's all like subjective and perspective but like from mama's perspective that man really has like the most insane vocals i've ever heard like talent dancing everything he's just insane at everything that he does so it's pretty cool uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 뭐인 것 같아? 너의 보컬적인 부분. 그러니까 일단 발성이나 음. 이런 전문적인 부분에서는 음. 솔직히 아직도 많이 부족하다고 생각을 하고 있고. 음. 근데 그렇다고 해서 나의 이렇게 발성을 지켜가면서 나의 색깔을 잃어버리고 싶지 않아. 음. 그러니까 저는 어쨌든 음. 이거는 제가 계속 보완해 나가야 되는 문제긴 하지만 음. 이제 저는 색 나의 색은 명확하다고 생각해요. 음, 그리고 명확하지. 세, 색은 명확하다고 생각하고 음. 그리고 좀 다양한 색을 섞어서 쓸수 있지 않나. 음. 그러니까 곡 분위기에 맞춰서 음. 뭔가 소화할 수 있는 거는 저는 어쨌든 제가 좀 가지고 있는 장점이라고 생각을 음. 하고 있는 것 같아요. 막 전문적으로 내가 발성이 음. 완벽하다는 건 절대로 아니지만 음. 어쨌든 제가 보컬 레슨을 음. 예, 연습생 때부터 지금까지 안 해본 건 아니지만 많이 안 했던 게 음. 발성을 고치려고 하면 음. 색깔이 단한 한 마리 무너져요. 음. 색깔이 무너져서 저는 이제 색깔을 지켜 나가면서 이제 발성적인 부분을 계속해서 그냥 제 스스로 보완을 시키는 거지 음. 이거를 발성을 잡고 제 색깔로 하기에는 이게 사람이 뭐 이제 버릇이 되다 보면은 음. 고치기가 너무 힘들어서. 음. 일부러 이제 레슨 같은 것도 안 받으려고 하고 Damn. 스스로 좀더 시간을 투자해서 음. 연습한 경우가 되게 많죠. 음악을... I'm sorry. That is so insightful. Like especially to me. Like not saying it's not insightful to you. I'm sure is it? Let me know. But like that's just such a new piece of information for me to hear that. That's crazy because I knew that he did take vocal lessons, but I like that he stopped. Like, I like that he doesn't really do that because a vocal coach is going to teach you what they teach everybody, you know, and they're going to kind of tweak it to your style and, you know, help you get more things out of your voice. But truly, they're going to be like, you have to do this. You have to do this. You have to do this. And I love that Jungkook was like, I could do that. And my vocals would be what society deems as like the perfect perfect vocals but i'll lose my style i'll lose why i am jungkook and that is like the last thing i want i'm sure that's the last thing you want and that's the last thing he wants so the fact that like he really considered that and knows that is crazy like i just want to pick at his brain one time because i know this man has such intelligent thoughts and he just I don't know. He's so smart, but he doesn't really share so much of that all the time. Not that he's like stupid, but I feel like when I love questions like that. And of course, Hobie asked him the question and Jungkook really gave him such an in-depth answer. Oh my God. I never even thought that somebody could lose their style taking vocal lessons, but that makes so much sense. The way he explained it. Wow. Oh my God. I'm so glad oh, he stopped though. 
연습한 경우가 되게 많. That's so cool. 다른 단 The way that they're listening to this voice though of V, I didn't even notice V is literally right next to him, staring at his face from like three centimeters away, and John Cook is just pounding back some croissants, bro. They're so serious and unserious. I love them. But V sweater is so girl boss. I need that sweater. That is so iconic. It's so freaking hot. If he was my boyfriend, that'd be the first sweater I steal. Potato bread. <laughs> That's true. He's like, Jungkook's like, oh. <laughs> oh. I'll be smiling in the back. <laughs> I feel like I could merge my face with it. So we're like the same. Like, <laughs> he's so cute. Oh. <laughs> that was so sweet. I love, because I feel like, you would see the rappers gassing up Jungkook's vocals. You know, they're like, you know what, Jungkook, if we're lost, we're lost without Jungkook. But I think it's so extra special when the other vocalists also talk about his talent and how much he's helped BTS and stuff like that. And I think that's like so freaking important and why they have remained such a tight knit group for this long with like out a lot of issues. I don't know about the behind the scenes, but the fact that it's never competition it's just love i say it all the time but really you don't get to see that super often envy is like such an ugly thing and so many people experience it but it's also a human thing so the fact that they have all somehow leveled that out or never experienced it in general i don't know if they've ever had jealous moments it's just crazy because they like truly love each other so much <laughs> He's dying of cuteness. I love that Kuyonel that would be lit to have Jungkook to work with on any project and just be like so annoyed and frustrated with having to re-explain yourself or try to teach people and they're not getting it. And Jungkook pulls up and he's just like, oh, you want to peer away, backflip, you know, backhand sand, make me go to the ice cream shop, do a little lick lick on a strawberry sundae, triple backflip, come back in my Maserati Ferrari and then, you know, serve you a cup of tea. Yeah, I could do that. And the guy's like, I didn't even finish explaining and you got it right. That's crazy. Like the man just, he just has that brain that can just absorb anything. It's very impressive. <laughs> Oh my god, there's something about Jungkook singing baby oh my i need all the songs i need a compilation of him just saying baby that's it that's it that's all i need just calling me baby that's all i need we are made of each other baby it's the way that i heard this song in an h and m and i didn't even know i was like oh it just sounds like a regular pop song and i heard his voice and i was like oh my god is that john cook and then i was like damn it i didn't first time react to it because now i heard it while i'm half naked trying to get this tight ass top off at an h and m but it's okay i'll do a high high quality reaction for that song is there a music video 
That's one more tail. Great. Please yeah. tell yeah. JK. <laughs> ah, these faces like that's my that's my boy. That's my friend. He looks so that's proud. Please tell. Oh. He's so impressive. <laughs> By the way, he's a low-key prodigy. He has perfect pitch, and he can recall any note right on the spot, which I found very impressive. What song do they have with Charlie Puth? Charlie Puth. What song do they have? Recall I'm any not a note Charlie Puth fan, right on the spot, honest. which I found very impressive. Oh, this one. I love this clip. Okay. He looks so hot here, oh my god. Yes! Yes! Kobe! I love it! I almost drooled, he said, I'm dead. Yeah! Jungkook is credited in almost every BTS song when it comes to chorus credit backing vocals. Also, why do I feel like I could do that pitch thing? I want to try it. Whoa. This list includes some songs Jungkook is credited for vocally excluding primary vocals. Oh my gosh. This list is 148 songs long oh my god and he's so young to have that extensive like list of songs I love Jungkook when I hear something so bad quality that's like scratchy recording you know I don't know if they're trying to like I guess they're just trying to show his vocals but like I have a thing with sounds and if it's like an annoying sound I'm like here but the second I start to hear his vocals which still aren't in a high quality recording I'm like ah, I could listen to this all day I could listen to this on my wedding day it's so beautiful <laughs> Okay, so I've never seen that. But goddamn, he looks so hot there. But I like that they're doing this, the hidden vocals thing, because literally, the first time I found out about this was when I was watching um in the soup and uh oh my gosh they show at the end the, how they record their song that they all made together and you see jungkook doing the ad libs and he is so unserious about it he just goes in there he does ridiculous stuff but it sounds so good even when he's joking but honestly i love the in the soup intro and it wasn't until that that i listened and i heard his vocals in it and i was like that's low-key what ties the song fully together. That's low-key what makes the song, like, completed. It's so fire. So now we have the
Ah, watching these videos always just shows me I'm missing out on so much music still. But I gotta not look at it as missing out. I gotta look at it as, wow, I have so much like BTS music to still discover and listen to. And I cannot mother effing wait for that day. Actually, no, I can. That I complete all of it. No, I never wanna complete all of it. I want forever. Forever! These Jungkook uh, backgrounds. Let me play this section going into this so you can hear kind of what these backgrounds are doing. <sighs> so there's actually like some really beautiful hug. harmonies going on. Some! There's some beautiful harmonies going on! Sir! Play the video back! What do you mean, some? All of the harmonies were beautiful, sir. Come on, please. Put some respect on his name. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know who the heck he is, but I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. <gasps> this is Magic Shop. This is a song you guys always tell me to react to. Oh, my God. I thought it was part of the Bang Tan universe. So I stayed away from it for like a month and a half while I finished that. But apparently it was never part of the Bang Tan universe. So that's going to go into my reaction folder very soon. Okay. Especially so after hearing that. there's actually some really beautiful harmonies going on. Uh, why don't I just quickly play uh, what these harmonies are doing. So this first set of harmonies. Second one. All right, so third one. Oh my and gosh. The fourth one. And he has to record all of those separately. And then that makes the beautiful like end piece. Why did I always think like they just record one version and then with auto tune kind of like level out the different ones to make the harmonies? Oh my God. But I think he's saying all of those individually in different tunes and different tones. That's beautiful. And together they glue together and just sound beautiful. Love that. Flawless. Like, that, that is incredible uh, vocal production right there. Period. He also sings most of their vocal guides. Guide, an initial record, an initial recorded vocal track which acts as a guide for other musicians who record their parts later. Wait, what? Like, wait, is this for people doing covers of BTS songs? Or is this when they do a collab with another singer, like the guy from Coldplay, and he has to give them a guide? Or what's the tea? Is he posting tutorials on YouTube on how to sing BTS songs? Like, I'm about to look one up. I never heard of a guy. Oh, 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 I get, yes, that's why Yugi always uses Jungkook. Oh my gosh. Whenever he was recording anything, he's just like, just put vocals on it and I'll try to tweak it later. De okay, I understand now. This is the perfect example for me. <laughs> Don't worry about the chorus. Joe Cook will do it. Ow, 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 ow. Daddy's got it. He contributes with a lot of harmonizing ad libs in their live performances. This is what I'm looking for. see this performance he is literally harmonizing with yungi as he raps and also sings yungi has such an incredible voice too like oh my god i love this man's vocal <laughs> Have I 
reacting to that? I don't think so. What is this? I need to watch this right now. <laughs> tiny desk they did another one of these what the heck i thought i've seen all of them well i watched the tiny desk and they did i swear they did butter and they were like sitting around and stuff what the heck what is this The members often ask Jungkook to harmonize or do ad-libs for them. They also ask him for his opinion when it comes to their vocals. This is the one I saw, which I loved. I did take note that Jungkook either looks super sleepy, super hungry, or just super tired or a little sad. My baby boy, I hope he's okay. My baby man. I remember that part of Tiny Desk having me shook. And you're telling me they just like were sitting there casually getting their makeup done and Hope is like, hey, you want to try harmonizing me with that for that one part? Jungkook's not even like responding. He's just processing what Hobie's saying and then Hobie's explaining more and he's like, yeah, let's try it. And that that's one of my favorite parts of that tiny desk. That's not even in the original song. I don't even. Oh, wait, what song was that? Save me, right? I think that song is save me. I don't think that's in the original. It should be. Damn. Oh my God, sounds so good. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mama Hobi always watching. <laughs> He's putting in a request like Jungkook works at a bakery and makes cupcakes for a living. He said, put extra icing on that. You know I like that good, good. Oh, Oh my god i can't be so funny i love that they could do that though they're about to do a performance they don't even need to practice they just trust in jungkook's vocals and his ability to make incredible ad-libs that they know if they're just like yeah like just add some crazy stuff a lot around this part of my performance you know i like when you do that i like when you give me some good backup vocals how cool is that that they have that level of trust in each other oh my god i'm obsessed i just think and i assume that they practice these things for months and weeks and stuff like that but they really be ready to go dress up and they're like oh yeah can you do this while we're on stage and he's just like yeah like what Oh, burn the stage. I love this. And also in that clip, even though he's giving Jimin incredible advice, he's just like, but I don't know what advice to really give him because their vocal styles are so different, but they're both incredible in their own ways. And I just feel like ugh, every member was just meant to be in this Mother Evan group because it is like the perfect, it's just the perfect storm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to love BTS. Chill, leave me alone. Whew. 
우리 <웃음> 평소에 안 쓰고 있던 목소리를 어, 도전해 보게 돼서 되게 배우는 게 많았었던 것 같아요. 그래서 떼창이 되어 있어 떼창. 아 맞아. 정국이한테도 많이 물어보고 하면서. <웃음> <웃음> 어, 되게 like, no 네, problem, bro. 배움의 시간이 되지 않았나 잘했었나 그런 생각이 <웃음> <웃음> If a member is absent for a live performance Jungkook would usually cover for that member He covers not only for the vocal line but for rap line as well <웃음> Wait, like multiple times? I thought there was just that one time that Yoongi I believe it was Yoongi got sick I still haven't seen that clip, I'm looking for it um, where Yoongi fell ill and then him and J-Hope just figured it out on stage, just covered for him. It's crazy. J Jungkook doesn't even know Yoongi's lines. Actually, J-Hope probably doesn't even either. He probably knows a little more, but that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god! Run. Damn! We really covered that iconic part of Hobie's line. And Hobie's got big shoes to fill too. I won't even lie. I like that Junka covered, but mm, just Hobie's, mm, Hobie's vocals and Hobie's rapping, it just does something to me. I've been on a Hobie kick lately, like hardcore. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he looks sexy as hell doing that too. Oh my god. I think when I hear him doing like the rap ad libs, that's where I'm like, okay. You know, like you were still eight, but it the, the rap line like really just is so strong in that sense. But oh my god, he's so good at like quick rapping. This man is incredible. Yes, boy. <laughs> It's so weird because you'd think that I wouldn't even be able, at least I think I wouldn't even be able to tell the difference of him covering for another vocal member. Like sure, rap lad, you could tell, you know, Jungkook was filling in and that is amazing and he did a great job. But for a vocal lad, you'd think I'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah, it sounds like he could have been that part originally. But when I've listened to these songs so many times, I haven't listened to Save Me, but that first part I have, it just like, it's so weird because I'm so used to hearing V there or I don't know. It just like, I feel like every member just plays their perfect role. And when they're not there to do their own role, there is like a weird like emptiness. Even though Jungkook does an incredible job filling in for other members when they're not feeling well. And that's such a nice thing for him to do. I just love that the members, you know, play their part. Because as much as I love Jungkook, like, I love BCS so much, too, you know? I don't know how to explain it. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? The main vocalist has a lot of responsibilities. I'm sure this video doesn't do justice to all that Jungkook does, but I hope it gave you an insight. Yes, it did. It did, mother ever give me an insight. Oh, my God. I, I pretty much knew most of these things. <laughs> Yo, girl's a veteran army now. No, I'm not. I'm still very much a baby army, but I think I knew a lot of these things, like how much he has to do the ad libs and uh, uh, like backup vocals and things like that. But I didn't know about the guides. I didn't know about what was the other thing? Him covering him being like the go to person to cover other people. And I am seeing more so how much the other members ask him for help, which I think is super cute. Like V asking for him to like possess his performance up or Nam June for getting lines and asking Jungkook and all of these things. I think it's so cute how much they rely on on him because this man is reliable and he knows it. You never see him like when somebody asks him to do something, he's never like, um, I don't think I can do that. He's like, he doesn't even say yes or no. He just lets out what feels right in the moment. And it always eats down. But we love Jungkook as the main vocalist. And everybody loves Jungkook as the main vocalist. And that's on period. Oh, I love watching videos of Jungkook. I'm 
sorry. This man is just so freaking talented. And the more information that I absorb about him, the more I love him. And I'm just freaking obsessed with him. I have a whole corner in my room right now with a bunch of little pictures. And I will say majority is Jungkook. But that's only because y'all blessed me with three golden albums to the lovely, lovely, lovely warriors and army that have sent me things to my P.O. box. I'm looking at my golden albums right now. I started styling my room more for me and not for, you know, the camera because I want to look at the golden albums. I don't just want them in the background. I want to see them. Anyway, I'm rambling. Jungkook is an icon. Jungkook is amazing. Jungkook is the main vocalist for a reason. And we love Jungkook and I love you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to drop a comment, a like, and subscribe so we can keep hanging out every day. I also have a Patreon where I post these videos, very early access plus bonus content. So go check that out. I have a PO box if you want to send me stuff. I extended it. You guys asked me to, so I extended it another three months. So if there's something you wanted to send me, don't feel rushed, don't feel pressure, and also don't feel like you have to send me stuff because you guys subscribing, commenting, liking, talking to me, being nice to me is more than I could ever ask of anybody. So thank you for just always being so nice. And I love you. If you want to check out all my other socials, like my Twitch stream, where I stream five days a week on Twitch, go check that out. But in, besides that, I love you. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, lovies. I'm outies.